sunshine. You gonna get up? Is it time to get up? Three, two, one. Hi, and welcome to Emma's garden. <laughs> right, we are in a bit of a mess at the moment because, well, it is winter still. Though spring's coming out. And uh, we had all this trouble last year, namely with this pond having a good collapse after the neighbor had a go at it. That debris down there is, it's all from inside the pond when I was, uh, extracting out all of the fish and the plants as much as I could. So this is gonna have to be sorted out this year. Along with this whole area, which had to be, well, left over winter. This was actually supposed to be built over here as another raised bed, but I mean, it's all ready to go. I just have to put it together and there we go. The fox has been at the water barrel as usual and keeps pulling the lid off i don't know why but uh it entertains the fox and back here we just have another little rockery area with uh, some herbs in there i mean i'm thinking about sealing off this whole area because over here is where the main fox den is and as much as i do love the cubs the naughty ones that like to come over have been causing hundreds of pounds worth of damage and I think we're at this point now wherein either the garden lives or and the foxes stay out or um, I just give up altogether. This also needs sorting out. I've got to put this uh, water barrel in working. So yeah, this was a really nice pond last year. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it at the moment. I might rebuild part of the wall here because as you can see there's a massive foundation crack running right the way across turn this area into some sort of planting area and have a slightly smaller pond maybe put in plastic coating inside mold it around rather than having this uh, pool paint I mean it worked but you know obviously someone comes along and uh, decides to screw holes into it that's gonna happen Emma's enjoying her grass always hungry always hungry so this is uh, one of my raised beds this was the first one I put in about three years ago <laughs> it could do with a bit of a clean but again it's winter it's been raining the wind's been going need to put some compost down as well that's got on uh, behind schedule I usually prefer to do that around um, latest is November so I like to let it sit over winter but it's doing all right we've got a uh, flowers are starting to come up this is just flowers and herbs in this area all this stuff here is garlic from last year which has bred like crazy and is coming up isn't that right Emma uh, this bit is also something I was supposed to work on last year this needs to be completely dug up so that the pathway will be something walkable along with these uh, fence panels need to come down be painted to match these ones but while I'm doing that I'm gonna work on my neighbor's garden here he's giving me permission so I seem to do it every year now take care of his brambles because they keep coming over and growing like they are right now and back here we have uh, my compost area and uh, I mean I do love this honeysuckle he is growing a bit wild back here though. He's meant to be growing along, all the way along. But he seems to prefer to come back here and hang out with the compost pile. <laughs> Looks nice though, so. This is where I'm gonna be getting most of my compost from. Um, I collect up over the year, the neighbors, whenever they do their grass cuttings or trimmings, they bring it over rather than having to pay for it to be removed, put it into my compost pile, and then I've got plenty of compost for the next year. This is the bonfire bit. Uh, last year I had a load of old crates and 
I stripped them for pieces that were useful, kept those for building with, and then burned the rest to make charcoal and well ash, which is a, a good free fertilizer. Plants love it. Gherkins loved it last year because they were in a bed job, so that was pretty much full of just charcoal. Yeah, this is not supposed to be here at all, all of this wood. I had to move this over because my neighbour was being strange. And it had to be kind of defended from him. But the uh, the foxes have been running amok in here. This was all really beautiful <laughs> last year. And now it is, as you can see, dug out. And I keep putting it back in and putting it all together again and they just keep coming back and digging it out again and they've killed all of my favorite pansies now all of some other flowers and uh, decided to dig up the cabbages don't know why I still have cabbages they just sort of popped up over the winter for some reason not winter cabbages even uh, poor plants I'll sort out these bulbs in a bit this poor apple tree as well. They really don't like this apple tree. <laughs> or the blueberries. All of this wood's going to be moved. You're probably wondering why uh, I've got this leaning up against the greenhouse door as well. Um, something weird went and happened with the greenhouse door over the winter. Some sort of moisture got in and it kind of expanded and doesn't fit the door properly anymore. So I am putting it together with some string. Hey, sweet bee. And uh, using this to hold it shut because the wind keeps having a go and trying to open it at the moment. We are stuck in with some pretty crazy winds at the moment. And as for what happened to the pond, Emma graciously donated her swimming pool to uh, help house the poor fish. <laughs> They're all very happy in there and getting nice and big anyway. This is all starting to wake up now. It's getting warm enough and you see shoots are starting to come up all over the place. Fish are all woken up, they're happy. They don't mind being fed more often again. Other than that, in here, I've got quite a bit of work again to do. I just started building this last year over the summer as you can see there's parts of it that just not aren't finished yet pruning has gone on in here which needs to be tidied up i've got um well these are all pretty much strawberries along the top in these plant beds last year they actually uh grew enough i just had bags and bags of uh, strawberries mainly just from these they uh Time tends to grow over and then climb down and just keep producing. And uh, in these ones, these were built out of just scrap wood I had. Painted them purple. I think they look nice anyway. More strawberry parts that I've got spare in here. They're all waking up pretty quickly at the moment. This is an orange tree. <laughs> he hasn't grown very much over the winter. But uh, you can see we've got startings going on here. I think we probably do with a bit of a feed as well. They don't like the cold though, sadly. Um, in these, I tend to keep uh, potatoes in here. I mean, I got them to try out because they've got the little door that you can open up on the bottom and you're supposed to take the potatoes out. But uh, it didn't really work out that way. I mean, they're, they're nice just to have as bags. But um, other than that, the, the door just didn't really do anything. I mean, I grew loads of potatoes in there. So I have put more just leftover potatoes from the kitchen in. See what will grow this year. Um, over here, we have the lemon tree, which has done phenomenally over the winter. I did keep both these plants uh, from producing fruit all summer because I wanted them to settle into the new pot grow a little bit before they start producing food and well this one got away from me while I was away on holiday in October went and uh, had a blossoming 
made a nice lemon there and I just haven't had the heart to take it away from it. So it's having a go at blossoming again at the moment. And uh, I mean, most of this growth all the way from about here upwards has actually been over the winter. It's really uh, having a good go of it, really quite likes it in here. A lot better than the uh, orange anyway. Uh, these are just leftover plants from last year. I put them in these containers so that they would be watered while I was away and I just haven't bothered to take them out, to be honest. Mint. These are waiting to go outside. These are all the chilies from last year. Some of these are dead. Some of these will come back though. I mean, you see this one has still got some green in it. In this area over here where the shelves are, these, this is actually going to be some inbuilt shelves here instead. I just got these as temporaries, uh, cheap off Amazon, and well, they actually uh, worked out really well, so I'm going to be keeping them and probably moving them over to this side. But there's going to be more shelves actually inbuilt in here, which is something that I need to work on in the next couple of weeks because I need to get to putting my seeds in. So, this box, when I was growing indoors quite a bit, and I didn't have the greenhouse, it's kind of hard to keep a lot of things like chilies, the seedlings, they like a lot of heat. So I built this box out of, this grow box, out of an old cardboard box, painted it white on the inside so you know you got the light bouncing off. Um, and then just cut some holes in to put lights in. And yeah, everything grew really well in there. So I have kept this to use again. I mean, it is cardboard, so it, you know, it has got a life expectancy on it, but it does the job, and it's a lot cheaper than having to buy those grown boxes, you know, the big light boxes. I think I spent about £30 overall, and that was just on the light bulbs, basically. Just get some LED light bulbs, cut the tops off, put them in, works really well. Whoops! Where are you going? What are you doing? You up to no good, Emma? Hmm? You're maintaining the grass? Good job. <laughs> so as you can see in here, I uh, have a lot of cleaning up to do. So um, I'm going to get on with that in three, two, one. And like magic, there we are, all cleared up. <laughs> Looks a little bit better now. So now I can actually see what I'm going to be doing here, um, which is, namely I'm going to be starting on the shelves that are meant to be going here. So I'm going to just get some wood out, put it in here to dry for a couple of days, seeing as the weather here is just rain and wind. That's all we have here in England. <laughs> Now you might be wondering why on earth have I got all this stuff going around this uh, pool here? Well, it's because uh, this is a dog pool. It's one of those ones that can uh, stand up by itself. But um, as it heats, which it did, in, it did uh, at the end of I think it was August, around about then, we had uh, quite a bit of sun still going on all the way up until November. And the heat was making the material that the pool is made out of become elastic and it was starting to topple a little bit. <laughs> so just to reinforce it, I went and got the bags from around the back and put them around it just to give it a bit of extra stabilisation, which has worked out pretty well. I mean, it is handling it. I still don't know what I'm going to be doing with these poor fishies and their plants. Uh, either the old pond is going to get repaired a little bit or these are going to have to be rehomed. There's quite a few fish in here actually, uh, not just goldfish. There's quite a lot of uh, natural fish that you would find around the UK really. Um, common carp, sticklebacks, that sort of thing. Though my favourite in here is uh, the ghost carp, which you will not see very often swimming about, but when they do come up, they do look lovely and ghosty. They've gotten quite big this year as well. It's mainly the goldfish are, are very friendly. Stick your finger in, they'll come say hello. There's a, a few different types of goldfish in here as well. The lemons, the common gold ones, multicolored, uh, I think they're called shibunkins. 
me happy. And that's all that really matters, I suppose. And yes, I am leaving this here because, uh, well, this whole area needs to be composted anyway. So I'll leave it down, cover it with some more compost. The lawn has to be all redone. Now I've got to move all of this wood. So I cleared the wood. Now you can see why the lawn needs redoing pretty badly. Also because uh, it keeps sinking. <laughs> so I'm just pruning these back now. All of these uh, strawberries here that just didn't get pruned during the winter are now getting the job done now. Taking anything that's, uh, well, any of these little, I don't know what you call them, little root knots that they grow on the ends when the uh, strawberry plant is trying to spread out rather than planting seeds. If you take those little root ends, plant them in to some soil like this and you get some new strawberry plants. So I'm just collecting them all while I am clearing through the old debris here. Here's one. These root nuts that grow at the end of the vines. This will be a new strawberry plant. So I'm just gonna clear it up. Rid of these old bits here. The old root, root vines. They are not needed. This has got a lovely lot of roots on it though. So this will be a very nice plant. Take it over, plant it in. And wait for it to grow. Some chives left over from last year. It was good to pull these out, even though they're making new plants, just because they end up taking over and suffocating everything else out. There should be flowers in here, for instance. <laughs> this is some garlic. Garlic is wonderful for uh, keeping pests at bay, which is why I tend to grow a lot of it. Another good one is marigolds. Plant them in with strawberries, and it stops uh, worms and things from eating the roots up. when they're pretty. Here we go. Another one. Some nice roots on there. Plant that in. Well that looks a little bit better. The fox will probably be down here in a minute and dig it all back up again but at least we got it started back on track. I've got a lot of new strawberry plants managed to put them in and rescue anything out that was a uh, Previously thought dead, but turned out to actually be alive, despite the fox's best efforts. And the wood is in the greenhouse. So I'll let it dry for a few days and uh, then I'll come check on it, see which bits are useful, pin it up to make it waterproof and cut it to size and we will make some shelves. Hey Emma! <laughs> you waiting for me? <gasps> are we going in? Are we? Are we all done? Are we, good girl? Come on, kitty bye. Let's go. Let's go. 